We're dining at Diagon Alley. Let's see. Hi, everyone. I'm Jay. And I'm Sam. You're watching the Theme Park Foodies, and we're back at Universal to fulfill a promise we made in our uh, uh, Harry Potter crawl. If you guys have seen that, check it out. We tried different quick service options throughout Harry Potter Land, but we didn't have two of their major uh, quick service sit down dining uh, options, right, Sam? Well, we've been here before, but we've not vlogged. Yes, we haven't vlogged them. Yes. Uh, so, uh, which, what, what are they? Uh, the 346. Which is, that's located in uh, Islands of Adventure at um, Hogsmeade. But today we're actually going to where? Yes, which is in Diagon Alley, uh, which you can see Diagon Alley in a lot of the Harry Potter films. It's very cool, it's hidden. We actually didn't see it the first time we were at Universal. We were looking for it. Uh, it's in the, right next to King's Cross. It almost looks like you're entering a bathroom. Uh, and then right there, you'll be able to see the big dragon as you walk out. Uh, into Diagon Alley. They have Ollivanders right in there, so if you want to buy your wand. They also have an ice cream shop in the back that you see our last video. We got some great butter beer and a sticky toffee pudding ice cream at. But today is all about the Leaky Cauldron, right? Yes, I prefer the Leaky Cauldron over Three Room Six. How do you feel? Yeah, it's slightly more um, authentic. Right you hear that behind you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's slightly more authentic. Uh, Sam was uh, alluding they to. Have the scotch egg. Yes. The yes. Pie. Yes. Right. Uh, they have a, a, I believe, a Guinness stew. Whereas in uh, the, the um, three broomsticks, you're going to find more like rotisserie chicken, ribs, ribs um, some great vegetables there as yeah, well. Yeah, I mean, it, they're both good. Yeah, they're I both agree. Very good, and you can get butterbeer. Yes. Even hot. Yes, we're going to. We'll be definitely and trying I out. Have one. It's a little rainy. I think <laughs> we have a nice hot butterbeer with my meal. They have nice. good desserts there too. So I, I'm, I'm really excited actually for our meal. We also need to get our Universal AP magnets. Yes, we forgot to get those last yes, time. Yes, we haven't. We forgot to get those last time. Um, anything else you have on the agenda today, Sam? There was something else, and I can't remember. We will remember it. If you enjoyed the content, please oh, like. Oh, we need to get HHN shirts. Yes, HHN shirts. Less than one. Yes. It'll probably rain a little bit. It's going to be a little hard to film, but uh, we definitely will be eating at Diagon Alley. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Join us for our day here at Universal Studios Club. While this video will probably be coming out much after the opening of HHN, it is, it is almost here, Sam. It'll be here when this video comes out. Oh, man, the sign's up. And, of course, we had to stop to get a chocolate cream cold brew. The Superior Chocolate Cream Cold Brew at Disney, unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> All right, so right past Lombards is where you're going to find King's Cross, and then just a little past King's Cross is where you're going to be able to find Diagon Alley. All right, Sam, we're in. So the Leaky Cauldron is going to be right to the left as you walk in. Oh, someone just flushed the toilet. All right, we're inside, and it's very well themed in here. You can see a little examples of all the different foods that you can get. Baggers and Mash is very popular in here as well as the fish and chips. I'm either going for that Guinness stew, I think, or the fish and chips. I've had the bangers and mashed, they're very good. Yes. Oh, there's the Guinness stew. Chicken sandwich, I think, got last time. All right, we're going in. Not that long of a line right now. Although you can mobile order. All right, so they got us in a darker section. There is some good natural light behind Sam, uh, but you just had your hot butter beer, which we had this in our Harry Potter crawl as well. Uh, it's probably, a, it's I think my favorite form of butter beer. It's ten. Hot butter beer in August. It's it's air conditioned in here though. So it's a little bit more. And it's like probably. a little gloomy out. Yeah. It's perfect Harry Potter weather. I got me a bit of the traditional butter beer. Um, we again had this in our last probably the first thing we got in our crawl in our last video. It's iconic. It's an iconic beer. <laughs> This is a solid eight. This okay. is hot. Yeah, for me, this is a 10 too. Mm. So good. Right? I can't wait to come in the winter. I should have got that one. Yeah, in the winter with the Christmas stuff, which we will have videos on. Um, so subscribe if, you have, if you're liking what you're seeing. You know, the subscribe button and the like button too. All right, so we got our food, and I, I do have to say, 
Um, I think I said this before, the theme in here is very nice, incredible. Uh, definitely one of the top at any theme park you've ever been to. The centerpiece is that big leaky cauldron, obviously. Um, and then it has like, pictures of wizards all across the wall. Um, it has a lot of depth, too, because you see some staircases with some books, so it looks much larger probably than the physical space actually is. And the food? The food, Sam, is good, right? Like it you is. said, authentic. I would, like, I would like to eat it. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, you said authentic, so I wanted to bring up. Well, it's. It, I mean, if you're British, this might not be the most authentic, but it's more authentic than three broomsticks, in my opinion. So these are scotch eggs, and they're yes. served warm. Yes. And they have a, a scotch egg, if you don't know, is like covered in like a sausage. Okay. And um, it has apple beet salad and mustard. The mustard is like a spicy mustard. You also have your, your utensils right at your table, and they bring the food right to your table, even though it's quick service. And they do have mobile order. Mm. Last time we were here, you could only mobile order. I think it was because it was super crowded. But today it's pretty dead, so you were allowed to walk in and just mm. order. I really like the scotch eggs here. They also have them at Finnegan's. Yeah. We had them it years similar. ago. Yeah. I look at that like a solid. For me, that's a seven. I just, they're good, they're iconic. Iconic, right? You know? All right, so you know what tar tartar sauce is for, right, Sam? The fish? Yes, fish and chips. So you, you said uh, this was more traditional, so I felt inclined to get the more traditional dishes. So fish and chips? I did not, because I'm just Their, their chicken sandwich is very good. It's a grilled chicken sandwich. Yeah. It's come with bacon and a nice tomato on top. Now these are very good, but I am preferential to the fish and chips in Disney World at um, Rose and Crown. Not the quick service ones, the Rose and Crown ones, the fresh cod. Now that's a sit, sit down restaurant. They have quick service ones there. These are better, I think, than the quick service, but not as good as the Rose and Crown. But they use, I think, a different fish. Um, I could be wrong, they could have changed it up last time I had it, so it wasn't. This is still very good. Um, I'm very happy that I got it. They also come with wedges, chips. I feel like they're a little chintzy with the wedges on both yeah. of our dishes. I agree. Like, it looked like they had been picked through all <laughs> The wedges are a five. They're nothing special. But the fish and chips are very good. I'll get this up to like a six. A little better than average in a nice themed environment. Definitely a six to me. All right, Sam, that chicken sandwich is very good. I had a little bit of it the last yeah. time we were here. There's um, apple butter mayo on it, Kobe cheese, roasted tomato, and it's a homemade specialty bun. It looks very good. But like like I said, like, it's a little more wedge Yeah, they're here. chintzy with those wedges. Mm -hmm. And the wedges aren't like the best thing ever. That's why I'm happy we got an appetizer. And it's smoky apple bacon. Yeah, the, the bacon is very crispy. At least last time I had it. Just, and that tomato adds a good juiciness to it. And it's nice that it's, it's grilled, not fried, you know? It's a good chicken sandwich. You take that, like, that sharpness of that cheddar, mm. the crispiness of the bacon, the juiciness of the tomato. The bacon was really good. Yeah, all of those different flavors combined with the texture of that dish, I think, created a real, bun. yeah, a real elevated chicken sandwich. Going seven. Yeah, I would, I would agree with that. All right, for dessert, we got the sticky toffee pudding, which I don't, I mean, given it's quick service, so it's got to all come out at once. I don't like how you get it at the same time, because it comes with ice yeah. cream. And if you're eating your dinner, that ice cream is going to be melted. Oh, it looks really good. Though. I remember really enjoying this. We haven't had this actually in years. So I think if we're doing a video on and this, we, we got to have the, it again. Didn't we have the ice cream in the crawl? The sticky in the crawl, we had the ice cream, yes. Mm. Would you put that on Ohana bread pudding level? Yes. Really? And it's really warm. Oh, it's really good. It's really I warm. Think it's really warm. Wow. All right, so I'm gonna try some of this out. I want to get a little bit of ice cream with it, so I get all the flavors. Let me right down the center. There we go. It's toffee heavy, which is what makes it. And you and I are a fan of toffee because of the um, sticky toffee cake. From Liberty Tree. Oh, Oh, Yeah, but I agree. This is very good. 
very good warm. I'd probably try to get it after my dinner if you could, so that way you could eat it hot. It's still very good. And I'm gonna just a nine. I, I just I like bread puddings. It's bread toffee in that, and it's, it's warm, hot in the center. Just yeah, elevates it. All right, so that does it for our meal at the Leaky Cauldron. I'm happy we were able to get spot two, or I guess the second video in our Harry Potter food series out. Uh, so I, I honestly think that uh, the Leaky Cauldron is my favorite spot to eat at in any of the Harry Potter experiences that I've had here in Universal, albeit only two spots, Hogsmeade and Diagon Alley. Uh, Sam, chicken, what do you think? That chicken sandwich is so good. Like, it doesn't have any like special sauce yeah. or anything on it, but it's just it's juicy chicken. Bacon is great. Yeah. The tomato is roasted. It just like gives it a nice flavor. It's not like a super heavy meal. It's solid, well, well executed quick service food. Yeah. Uh, the fish and chips that I had were very good. The scotch eggs are, you know, I'm going to say original, but they're not really original, but they're, I guess, an authentically English dish that they've brought here to Universal um, that I do enjoy, although I've never had scotch eggs in England. <laughs> if you have, let us know. Um, and the sticky toffee uh, pudding. Delicious, and with the hot yeah. butter beer, and oh, that was yeah. a great combination. Yeah, we recommend all the things that we've had. I had the bangers and mash there too before. That was very good. I would rank the bangers and mash probably an eight. Uh, yeah, all the food there is just solid. Um, if I had a, if you were coming to Universal and I and you were to ask me what spot to eat at, I would say Leaky Cauldron. I think it's even my favorite spot, even outside of Harry Potter. Um, I don't know. I'd have to think about that one more. But I do think for me, inside the Harry Potter section, although, I mean, we haven't, I mean, we have had three broomsticks, but we haven't had it in this series yet. And I think the chicken from there, from I remember last time, is very yeah, no, good. The chicken, the so we're going to have to chicken. definitely give them a better, a, a better shot uh, over there. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Liking will really help our channel grow and push this video out into the stratosphere of all of uh, the YouTube, <laughs> <laughs> the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps other people find the video. Subscribing also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every time that videos come out, which is Wednesday. Every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. Make the days count. We'll see you next time. That's all, folks. Pretty soon, we'll be watching the Halloween Horror Nights Lagoon Show. After this comes out, I think this is actually yeah, probably going to come out after. Yeah, this probably out by the time HHM yes. has started, but it, yeah. at the time of filming, this has not started. Yes, I'm, I'm assuming I'm going to like it. I'm assuming I'm going to, you know, suggest you you see it. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to see what our thoughts, check out that video. Also, we are next to Richter Burger right now, which we did do a Universal food crawl one day. And oh, yeah. That was one of them. Are and they, they, there are other videos that they actually like for Trevor. So, our opinion. I remember, everyone has different palettes, guys. Everyone has different opinions. We're not the end. We don't claim to be the end-all, be-all. We just like to have some fun at theme parks, eating food. 